Hey, everybody. Well, it's your old friend Gary Lucas, and today is December 29th, I believe. Caroline? Can I confirm that? Caroline's here. Working tirelessly as ever on a, on a hot new series. Well, it's been on the air for a while. A good one, though. I can tell you a good one. So, um, she's casting. We are tireless workers around here. And, uh, what can I say? It's great to be able to play for you. I love it. Uh, I wish I'd been doing this <laughs> for some years now, but I'm getting close to, I think, 110 shows, maybe a few more. If you figure I started three times a week, mid-March, right at when lockdown happened here. Oh yeah, you might not be able to hear that. Should I repeat all that stuff? I'm a little bit distracted sometimes uh, in preparing these things. But uh, I think this is show number 111 or 12. If you figure three shows a week since lockdown, which was mid-March, so we got March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September to October, October to November, November to December. So that's nine months. And so if it's 12 shows a month, it's about 108 shows, I think. That's pretty good. Uh, and I've tried to uh, keep it fresh and keep it real, to quote Ali G., because I love playing for you. So today I'm going to mainly play acoustic, but I'm going to play through the electric setup because uh, I like this. It adds a certain new dimension and tonality. Uh, also, uh, it's a little bit more intimate, I think. Some of the electric music uh, is not to everyone's taste, but uh, I hope you enjoy this acoustic set.
Thank you.
Stand there for a moment. I want to thank three times A, Triple A, for his great graphic. This is a friend who lives down under, Paul Ryan, who's been making all these wacky GIFs, GIFs, G-I-Fs, excuse my French, uh, and also little clips to help promote these shows. So uh, today he had a flying saucer. Beam me up, I guess. I, but I'd like to take everybody with me. Maybe it's better out there. I don't know. <laughs> right here on this planet Earth, we still have a poison cloud surrounding us, but I think January 20th, uh, it will dissipate. Uh, but until that time, keep your lamps trimmed and burning, as uh, Blind Willie Johnson sang, one of my favorite blues artists. And uh, so... Here, I'm going to take a little break from playing. Oh yes, that was Sun Ra's Interstellar Low Ways. Uh, one of his best pieces, in my opinion, and uh, also great is Rocket Number no. 9. And if you're in the Kingston area, please visit my friend Doug Weigel at his used record store, Rocket Number no. 9. Uh, it's really, it's an amazing depository, repository of classic vinyl and some CDs, just choice vintage sides. He's bought up many uh, a friend's library. I know he's after mine. I'm not yet ready to succumb to his blandishments, but thank you, Doug, <laughs> for keeping me in mind. Uh, yeah, I, even if I don't pull these things down off the shelf anymore, because I've digitized most of them, I just like Having all these things, I can't really explain it any other way. Same with books, physical books. Uh, I'm, I'm attached to them, I collect them still. Uh, I just like the thought of having all those brains up there on the shelf working over time. In absentia, when I'm not. So, when I like, read down the roll, the scroll of honor here, of contributors, to, uh, to my mission here. Natalie Chavaroche, you are a multiple contributor. I thank you so much. She said, I wish you all the best, Gary, Caroline, and Lulu. Stay safe. Well, I'm doing my best. We, we hardly venture out of the nest here. Uh, 
though we'd like to, but anyway, better safe than sorry. John, Cindy, and Gary, thanks for helping us keep going this year. Best wishes for 2021, Joan and John. Well, it's my pleasure, John and Joan, and everybody who tunes in to these live stream broadcasts. Uh, I really hope to to keep the whole thing going with and bring everybody along with names in the new year because, you know, God knows we need a change uh, of positive energy. I mean, the latest fiasco with the, with the bump up with our populist president, you know, sudden interest in, in the fortunes of this bill that he'd already signed off on and that it was a measly 600 when it could be it. <laughs> A so generous 2, 2K is just, I mean, you have to laugh if it wasn't so painful. Pippa Casey, you're a gem. Pippa is a, a music grad student down under, also down under. And uh, she, I believe, got a degree at the top of her class in the music department at the University of Sydney this spring. And she wrote a paper about these live streams. She wakes up to watch him at 5 a.m. Pretty much every time she's a faithful listener and a and watcher. And thank you, Pippa, for your very generous gift. Jenny Bachman, also. Thanks. I don't know what I can say about all these people. Mark Green, pretty much, if not every time I play, he comes through with a, a token of his extreme. Thank you so much. Robert Porth, he wrote, thanks for all the music, hope to see you, quote, offline, unquote, in concert soon again. Well, I hope so too. As I mentioned last time, I'm dying to play again, but not so full of heart as to want to die in the, in the doings of it. So let's see how this, uh, this thing shakes out with these vaccines. I'm optimistic uh, and... I, I sincerely hope live music comes back, if not to the level that it was previously, then at least a semblance of it, because there's nothing that beats the interaction. When you can feel an audience out there and see them, you know, you can squint into a big room and sometimes focus on individual faces. I live for this. I love to get that feedback. Uh, I know in my recent concerts at the... Uh, so What's Next Festival in Eindhoven, which was so nice that uh, I was invited to play Frank Veenstra and Rika Meishki, thank you again, and Peter Willems for, for joining me in one of the shows. Uh, it was great, it was great, but we were just playing for technicians in these empty rooms, you know, large ones, but just imagine had they been filled. You get a feedback loop going, I can't describe it, it's the best feeling of, uh, you know, like you're doing something for people and you know when you've connected with them, which is great. So here I'm just sort of shooting arrows out to the void. Some days maybe I connect with more people or not, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just going to keep going because it cheers me up and I know a lot of you are also cheered up by it. And uh, I think the best thing that you can do is try and cheer someone else up in life, honestly. It's, uh, it's if everybody had this notion, then what a world. So, I can give you a couple of tips here for holiday viewing. Here's a documentary that I think is just fantastic. It's a portrait of the photographer Robert Frank called Leaving Home, Coming Home. And, uh, it's really, uh, moving, it's so uh, personal. I'm sure if you're a Rolling Stones fan, you know about Robert Frank because of the cover of Exile on Main Street is all of his photos. And then if you're an art fan, you know about his classic book of photography, The Americans, which is iconic. But uh, his story is a real good one insofar as he emigrated with the threat of World War II imminent from a Swiss home. Uh, he was brought up in a Jewish home and uh, came to New York and saw work 
eventually as a photographer, you know, he got seriously involved in it and then took off on an expedition in the 50s to sort of cover America and see what he would see and, and what photos he came back with. And he came back with some iconic uh, shots that were pretty much unlike anything anyone had ever seen. Uh, in the in photography before, insofar as they were very dark and they showed a bleak edge to the American experience that hitherto had probably not really been exposed. But there's a wonderful humanity about the photos anyway. And so he makes a very interesting subject and uh, it's a great documentary. So if you can check it out. I think there's another documentary. I know there is because I had a friend of mine just gave it to me, which I'll review next time. Also good is this book of diaries by Jane Birkin, who you may or may not know from her music. Uh, she's recorded many albums, and she was the muse for a long time of Serge Gainsbourg in France. She was raised in a very English upbringing, and in fact, Caroline went to the same school as Jane in London, Miss Ironside School for Girls, which boasts all sorts of, of, of illustrious graduates, including the future of Mrs. Georgie Fame and all of Georgie Fame's kids, Rose Dugdale, who became a, uh, an IRA terrorist. It's a whole mixed bag of interesting people you can Wikipedia Miss Ironsides, anyway, Caroline graduated from that school. It recalls Jane there, though, she was in, the, in an older class. And we went to see Jane do a concert at the Alliance Francaise here about six, seven years ago. She was still great and did many of Gunsburg's songs. And a very good album to get is one that's called uh, Arabesque, also the name of a great. Middle Eastern restaurant in uh, Swiss Cottage, if you're in London, but I digress. And this album has Jane doing Middle Eastern type arrangements of many of her famous songs. Some also the Gans wrote, wrote for her. A very distinctive sounding album. And how I know this, I'm going to mention this before, but a friend of mine uh, who was very active, involved in Russian arts and media brought me a little about 10 years ago for a tour where we, I did some shows in Moscow and St. Petersburg with the Golem, playing my original score that I co-composed with Walter Horn, my childhood friend. And uh, we had this incredible trip out of Moscow in his Bentley. Now uh, he's sort of an oligarch, I guess you could say, a great guy whose wife also works for uh, Russian TV, one of the channels. And this was a marathon trip of about 15 hours. Uh, it took three hours just to get out of Moscow on a Friday afternoon from like about 4 to 7 p.m. We were just bumper to bumper until we got on the highway. And uh, we took a break in a uh, in kind of a trucker's motel for about three hours because both of us were dead at about four in the morning. So that slightly refreshed us and we rolled in at noon uh, to St. Petersburg, one of the most beautiful cities. And at 1, 1 p.m. I was live on Russian TV in St. Petersburg and I was, believe me, really fighting to keep my eyes open. But how this ties in, he was an immense fan of Jane Birkin and uh, he had this album, I think, on a tape. And I heard it coming and going on this excursion about 27 times. So that I know every note of it, it's burned in my brain. And it still holds up, it's still a great album. So check out Jane's Diaries because among her recollections of Gonsberg, earlier she was married to the great composer John Barry, great English composer who did the iconic early James Bond scores, beginning with From Russia With Love, uh, and Goldfinger, and Thunderball, and so many other great film scores. 
Zulu, and the Lion and Whitner. He was like the, the go-to English film music composer for a long time, especially for big budget spectacle films and Bond films. The If Crest File was another one, which is a great Michael Caine film. Anyway, uh, she was married to him before Gans Borg, so that's in there. And all sorts of good stuff about her daughter, Charlotte Gansberg, who's quite a prominent actress. So that this is a good book. I recommend it. Uh, Monkey Diaries, M-U-N-K-E-Y, 1957 and 1982. And lastly, oh yeah, I have a few copies of this left. It's going fast. This is a vinyl edition I didn't even realize I had in, st in storage of the last Studio Gods and Monsters album, The Ordeal of Civility, produced by Jerry Harrison. Features Ernie Brooks on bass guitar, Billy Thicke on drums, Jason Candler on saxophone, Joe Hendel on keyboards, and myself. And Jerry plays on the album as well. And uh, it's a good one. What can I say? So check out my merch page at GaryLucas.com. Oh my God, it's time to go, is it really? Well, I guess that wraps it up until Thursday. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Hi, Lulu. She's giving me big eyes with about four of her toys spread out. How, how, how can I show you this? Let's see. You can see up. Oh, she's getting up and going away now. All right. <laughs> Pleasure to play for you. And I'll see you, everybody, hopefully. And until that, on Thursday, until that time, be well, stay safe. Let's get a nice view of the neighborhood. And uh, love to play for you guys, okay? Wear that mask. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye now.